Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Magic the Harvesting. My name is Michael Batman Guy, and as you can see, I have done some uh, lumberjack work off camera. I spent uh, oh somewhere 50, maybe 60 minutes. No, probably not that long. I don't think it took me an hour. Um, cut down these trees. But uh, yeah, I made myself a little kind of lean-to structure here, just. I don't know, it, it seemed appropriate, you know, I was out here working and I was reminded of a game way back when, Age of Empires. Anybody ever played that and you set up your little um, buildings to gather resources and say, hey workers, you gather the trees over here and you bring them to the lumber pile and you know, I just kind of thought of that. I thought, oh, maybe having a little shack of some description would be appropriate. So I just stuck my extra things in here, you know, arrows and mushrooms and all these ferns and artist conchs and things that grow on the side of the trees. Just throw them up here, why not? So I just kind of stuck them in the chest there, because I don't really need them. Um, they're nice decoration, but they they come with the tree, as you can, you, here's an example, right? There's one that's got a sulfur shelf, which is kind of a cool mushroom that spawns on the tree, but I've never seen them appear on grown trees. Um, I had tried to, you know, keep the, oh, what's it called? I want, like, adjective ver version of conservationist, but, which would not be conservative. That's a completely different thing. Anyways, I, I replanted every single one. So everywhere you see a birch sapling that was a tree, I cut it down, I replaced it, and I still have almost a stack and a half of birch saplings left over. And what is this? Almost six stacks of logs. I've turned a little bit into planks, of course, to make this structure here. So, yes, all in all, fairly productive. Um, if you feel cheated out of the time, you're like, wait, but you, you skipped all this time. H how am I supposed to keep up? Um, I suggest you pause, go find somebody else's video on YouTube, and uh, watch that for about an hour, and, and you'll be all caught up. Uh, while you play the game, that's what I do. Certainly before I started making my own videos, I was always watching another YouTube video while I played Minecraft. It's great fun. Great fun. Multitasking away. Okay, sort out just in case, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of walk the area. It's not a large region that I cut out. You can see between, let me zoom in one more level here. Um, my little structure is not appearing. I must be totally underneath the, the tree leaves there. But between here and up there somewhere, right before that lava, it's actually a, a cliff there. That's where I stopped. And... This guy must have grown back already, because I definitely had this place entirely clear. Got a cherry tree growing here. Of course, I haven't spent enough time to ripen any of the fruit. I've had to sustain myself with berries. You can see I've eaten all the food that I came here with. Um, I've been here, this is, I think this is my third Minecraft night. Yes, so that, so that would put us at approaching uh, 60 minutes now. So yeah, at the edge of the cliff, there's a little lava flow down there. It's burned off all the leaves of some of these birch trees here. It looks kind of cool. I'm I'm really glad that they've kind of cut back on the spread of fire. A few versions back, one lava pool spawns in a forest biome, and suddenly you enter the chunk, everything loads, and it goes, oh, everything is on fire. Fire forever. Whole biome's... Phew, up in flames. But, uh, yeah, th this is reasonable. This is much better. It's kind of spooky, though. I kind of like the, uh, the history of it the, here to have these just bare trunks by the, the lava flow. It almost looks like there's a bit of a cave in there. Might go check that out. It's rather a nice area. We've got a pond down here. Some cattails. Ooh, actually. I'm going to take some of these, I believe 
they are useful for various things. You can make like torches with them or something? Is that right? So you turn it into the cattails. For oh! Creeper! Um, I think? He must have exploded in the water. Because there's no block damage. I didn't even take damage. Oh, I've already restored it. I, I wasn't paying attention to my hearts. I was trying to get out of my inventory. Okay. Okay, but yes. So you can turn it into cattail spikes and we will have to defend ourselves before we can investigate that any further. Uh, while I'm killing this zombie here, take a look at the mini-map up in the corner. You can see... was that? Southwest of me, there's this brown circle. And, oh, can you not pick these ones up? They're so pretty. I definitely poked one and I don't have it in my inventory. Okay. Yes, so the brown circle. Um, probably another roguelike dungeon, but I just want to... Walk on over there, check it out, see what that's all about. And, yep, here it is. Yeah, torches on top. Definitely another roguelike dungeon. Just like the one near the village. And I should be having my light out so we can see. What is... oh, leaves, right. Yep, yep, just the leaves cutting through the corners. Okay, okay. So I've got I've got a lot of of birch wood now, plenty to work with. That'll be an excellent start. I can fight off spiders. And hey, you, you cheater! You're hitting me before you are even touching me. I I don't know what you saw, but I saw black legs not reach bottom edge of the screen, which is where I am standing, but I still took damage. That doesn't seem right to me. And how do I get back up here? I was hoping there would be a path. Alright, I guess we dig. Fine, I have a shovel. And, oh yeah, my axe has grown, um, I think, two levels. Gaining haste level, and then a diamond enhancement, which added 500 durability. So this thing is going to last a good long time, even made of flint. So that was really lucky. Die, zombie. Speaking of lucky, we just added luck to the rapier. Yes, this is a lot more comfortable. I, I really like using this rapier. It is, it is very usable. And it fits in my hand nicely. I think I can get a lot out of it. Um, but a whole lot more. I've only got 17 hits left. Maybe I should uh, stick to the axe for now. Um, okay, let's let's pack up and go home. I, I did find a tea leaf. There was one herb garden around here. Got a tea and a celery and I think like a mustard seed. Um, so let's... Let's see, I want to take the mushrooms, and obviously the large stack of wheat. These oak saplings, sure. Oh, what else? What else do I actually need here? Or not need down here. Is it safe? Can we, can we look at the cattails yet? It's 4 a.m. Man, how time flies by. Um, yes, okay, so cattail to cattail spike, and then, yeah, put it on a stick and you make a torch. Okay, well, why don't we go to crafting station, which can access the nearby chest, I really like that. Turn these all into the spikes, add sticks, and just turn it into torches. Go, cattail torches. Excellent. And... Is that used for anything? Light gray dye, okay. Artist conch makes mushroom powder, and that can be used for fertilizer. 
Cool. Buried makes green. I guess that matters. And case is fruit. Oh yeah, that's 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 food. I definitely need to take that. Okay, uh, we'll leave the flesh and arrows, sticks, and redwood slabs. Oh, I guess I got I got a slab. We'll take the slabs. So everything else we will leave here for now. Um, wait, I need to check this out. What is this? What is this? This is Pam's Harvest Craft Beehive. Hmm. Right, Pam has her own bees. I did not um, include forestry and all those extra bees because I enjoy the concept, but the process is just a little, a little too much for me. I've, yeah, you, you gotta either invest a crazy amount of time to get very little out of it. The re I think the rewards are just way too slow. What is this? Oh, did the sheep eat it? Okay. I'm gonna plant a sapling there. Why not? And, nope, nope, get me out of the tree. I wanna be on the ground. There we go. It's safer this way. Okay, we'll just, we'll just head on back and, oh, it looks like another beehive. Uh, if I, if I wasn't full up on inventory, I would be collecting those to try and start cultivating them, get some honey, that'd be delicious. But we are on a mission. This is a nice pond here, a lot of green, more cattails, no, sorry, those are reeds, apparently. They look the same. Here's the cattails. Up we go, back away, taking our, our lumber haul. No, ah, poison ivy, die, all of you. Die in a horrible fire. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's be a little more careful. Watch where I'm going this time. And... Oh, this is just... Just a patch of sand. It looks like a very almost perfect circle on the map. Eat diamond tip axe, zombie! I don't care what kind of armor you're on. I'll beat you you fall over dead. That's right. That's right. That's what you get. Okay. Oh, here's the uh, bamboo shoots I left last time. Ah! Yep. There's another one. There's one that planted. So, there you see that. How that works. And I think you can actually, you could pop that off and replant it somewhere, or... Can you eat that one, or is that a different mod? There's some type of bamboo shoot that is edible. And what's over here? This looks like... It's an orchard biome. Oh my gosh, how did I miss this? How did I miss this? We've got apple trees all over the place. Look at this, apples for days. Apple, 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 apple. Apple, apple, apple. Oh my gosh. Okay, apples are no longer rare. Apples are no longer rare or problem. Oh my gosh, we can make so much good stuff now. Lots of food, and these will, I think, eventually grow back. You know, wasn't there one? I thought I saw one leaf that was flower. Let's look at that one. Yeah, so you can see like this top one that's got the two green spots, the light green patches, like not yet ripe apples. Huckleberry? That's a new type of berry. I want that. Uh, but where to put it? Dirt. Why am I hauling dirt? I'm gonna take the huckleberry with me. And we'll put the mushroom down for a moment as we eat the huckleberry. Yum delicious. We got another one? Yes, we do. Oh, uh, same deal. Get the other huckleberry. There we go. Two huckleberry bushes. We will definitely take those home. 
Okay, hello squid. Hanging out amongst the coral. Is there like a cave down here? Uh, oh, there is. There is. It does keep going down to a cave. That'll be cool. I always love the when the water spills out into a cave from the surface. It's always a neat feature. Okay, so back to the journey home. No more tiny cactus. You're not going to get me this time. I feel like tiny cacti have become my nemesis of this series. Need a good path up that's not covered in quicksand. Can I get back up the hill? Yeah, here we go. We'll go this way. This way looks nice. And, oh, nope. There's quicksand and tiny cacti. Thing in the way. Alright. Good, good. Just plain old grass. It's green. It's soft. It's friendly. It doesn't hurt you or try to kill you or strangle you. It's just, well, now I'm starving. Uh, apples? Yes, lots of apples. Have a couple of those. Okay. Okay, just hold on. If we can get back home, we have more food waiting for us. And if I can just create some inventory space, you know, I could stop and go fishing, I guess. If I had to... Alright, there's our original source of gravel. Good times, good times. And so we are almost home. Okay, what a trip. What a trip. We got quite a lot out of that. And I, I really need to get some kind of bag or backpack... Uh, just so I can haul more stuff. Especially with, with so many different little plants and everything and berry bushes and all that. Um, I, I feel an expanded inventory is a necessity in this game. Hello, Mr. Fluffy! I have returned! Oh, look at all this good stuff. Good stuff. There's That's food. Um, we will plant that. Monster drop some things. That's all I had. I'll put the saplings over here. Mm. Don't have your room for more saplings. Okay. Candleberries in there. Plant that. Plant that. You know what? Uh, go up there. Just, just because. Stow that all away. Yeah, that'll work for now. Okay, get this tea leaf in the ground. Start growing some tea. And I, I did. I kept the celery because I didn't remember if we had any. Um, so I'm just gonna have to look here. We got a little coffee, cauliflower, cabbage leaf, broccoli. Nope, no celery. Well, have it now. All those scallions matured. What else can we pick? Broccoli? Broccoli? Wait, I have two broccolis? No, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Okay. And the leek, finally. Seaweed has yet to grow at all. That that concerns me a little bit. It should be growing. And these are all mature, but I have yet to actually get a pumpkin. Disappointing. You finally spread, so I can pick you two. And you're ready to harvest. And that's it. Okay. Lots of food there. Which is good. Because I'm starving once again. I need to get a real meal in my belly. But we gotta put down these huckleberries. Yeah, look at all these berries. So many berries. Yum, yum, yum. I, I like berries. 
Really do. They are quite delicious. And so tiny, you can just toss them in your mouth like popcorn. Um, okay, so... Like that, get a berry bowl. And that... Again with the fence. Why right-clicking on the fence? I don't, I don't understand it. And let me see, can I scrounge up the other type of berry, the natural ones. There's blackberries. That's Pam's. Why don't I have any others? Where did all my raspberries go? I must have eaten them. Okay, we can take a muffin. And uh, some more fish. That'll work. We have some raspberries growing. Do we have any to pick yet? Nope. They're, they're still going. Alright. Got plenty of blackberries. Not worried about those. Oh, and the monster jerky. Alright, this is ready to go. Delicious. Delicious monster jerky. Not that delicious. No, it's... It's got this like weird kind of tang to it. I don't I don't know how to describe it. It's odd. All right. So what did we accomplish? We got more wood. Yes. Sweet. And um, we do have some more storage, but not a significant amount. Uh, I'm looking for um, a little bit more than this. A couple extra chests that'll get us by. But I'm looking more towards. Getting some, what are they, what are they called? Um, drawers, yes. See, and then we can compact things down and put like four into one. It holds eight stacks per drawer, something like that. Yes, that is the goal. Get some drawers, or a chest of drawers for girl, boy. Deco craft, the most random things there. Anyways, that's going to have to do it for now. We will uh, move along in the next episode with uh, probably breaking some ground, clearing some space over there for the house. And that that should be fun, don't you think, Mr. Fluffy? Yes. You, I, I can see it in your eyes. You want me out of here so you can have this whole place to yourself. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I figured. All right, well... That's going to do it for now. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Michael Batman Guy. I'll see you next time.